Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you my first pay period for the month of April. It is April 6, 2019. Um, if you did watch my April budget video that I posted in the beginning of the month, I did condense everything down to these two pages here. So I would put how much I need to save for the month, and then these two little check boxes to indicate the two different times I will get paid um, for keeping track of the denominations that I will request from the bank. I will be putting that information here. This is just easier for me to condense all the information I need regarding my finances and it's a little bit cleaner instead of having them like flip through different pages because I have my April budget on one page and then splitting it up between pay periods doesn't make sense to me so I hope um, this way is a little bit easier to show I'll just go ahead and get right into what uh, we'll be doing for today's cash envelope video so first of all I'm gonna go over the amounts that I will be saving for April 6 paycheck I'm um, starting off with my checking account this is the funds that are just going to be left in the account in itself first thing is Hulu 626 I will not be saving anything uh, during the first pay period that will be saved for the second one association is 9524 for this paycheck I'll be saving $48 the cushion is $20 moving on to paid in cash so the phone bill is $95 first pay period is going to get $48 saved and another um, bill or yeah another bill that I will be um, contributing to is $60 for the yard first paycheck is going to get the $30 my expenses projected this is all paid in cash so you're gonna want to remember paid in cash um, I don't use my debit or credit cards for these expenses so gas is $50 so I'll be saving $25 for this paycheck beauty is $60 I'll be saving $30 Fun is $150, that's going to get $75. Food is $110 for the month, so for the face, first paycheck, that's $55. And my car registration, like I mentioned in my April budget, I was projecting the amount to be $300, but once I got the actual um, stub in the mail, came out to $328, so I will be just saving the $28 and paying this um, between now and my next pay period moving on to my envelope so saving for the future this is going to this is going to change I mean from month to month but for the month of April I am going to be saving car maintenance that's $50 for the month that's going to have $25 for the first pay period birthdays for June is $50 so $25 Birthdays for general, that's $20 for the month. That's going to get $10 right here. Occasions, $20 for the month, $10 for first paycheck. Mother's and Father's Day, seen here, $52 for this month. And like I stated before, this is going to be the last month I'm going to be saving for this category. It's going to get $26. Christmas is just planning way ahead in the future. Can you believe it's already April? Um, we have a few more months, so eight more months until Christmas time. So that's gonna have $45 for this paycheck. And vacation, I did amp this up a little bit to 150. That's gonna get $75. So I'll go ahead and just figure out the denominations that I will need.
Now that I have all my denominations figured out, the first pay period, so the amount of money that I need to withdraw from my bank account is going to equal to $507. So I'm gonna double check to make sure that I did this correctly. And of course, so everything came out as planned to $507. So I'm really stoked about that. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and head over to the bank and get my money that I need for my envelopes. So now that I am back from the bank, I have my denominations and I also organize my cash envelopes according to the list that I have right in front of me. It's so much easier to do it that way instead of having to shuffle through your envelopes, making sure you're finding the proper envelope and then making sure that you're counting all the cash that you have on the table for every category you have. Um, first thing I'm gonna stuff is my phone envelope. Currently I have nothing within there so I don't have any money because I already paid for the phone. So that's going to get $48. Next category is the yard money. Currently I do have $60 that I have stuffed away. Um, I'm just going to keep contributing to this envelope. We may have to get our tree cut soon and that tree is very expensive to cut down. So it's just good to have the extra money. That gets $30. And then as you go down, as you stuff your envelopes, make sure you are checking off the category gas is going to get 50, 40, uh, $25. So currently in the gas fund, I have nothing. 25 And with the rising prices of gas, um, I did choose to just up the amount that I'll be saving per paycheck. Next is the beauty category. So that's gonna get $30. Next is the fun. That's gonna have $75. And uh, once again, nothing in the fun money. Next, I will be contributing to the food money, which is 55. And then likewise, I do not have anything in food. And the next category is going to be the car registration. Um, like I mentioned, I have $300 in car registration. So $28 additional should be enough to cover that expense. Next category, so we're done actually with the expenses. So we're now moving just on to the savings for the future envelopes. Car maintenance is $25. Currently in car maintenance, I have 110, 20, 125 dollars. So 25.
I try my hardest to make sure that the money is kind of like, you know, put together and not just stuffing it in there. June birthdays is going to get $25. Currently in this envelope, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 25. Next one is the birthday general fund. It's going to get $10. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, and $50 now. Next is occasions. It's almost my parents' anniversary, so their wedding anniversary. Currently in this envelope, I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now I have $100 in this envelope. Next is my Mother's and Father's Day. How much do I have in here? 20, 40, 60, 80, 105. 105 dollars, so 26 dollars. Next is my Christmas fun. I'm so excited to be able to save for Christmas already. Um, I don't know, by the time you know it, it's gonna be Christmas because it's already April and it feels like the first beginning of the year already just passed by really quick. But 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And five. And lastly, my vacation fund is going to get $75. Eventually, um, perhaps next month, I will be um, raising this, the savings a tad bit more. But yes, I'll be going on vacation with my boyfriend at the end of the year. So I want to make sure that I am saving for that. And currently, we already bought our plane ticket. So we live in Hawaii. Um, plane ticket that we bought for a round trip was $389, which is an awesome, awesome deal. Um, now we're just saving for our hotel, the rental car, and the like the theme parks, whatever else we're going to be doing. Check that off. And that is my cash envelope stuffing. I did just organize it. You're gonna wanna make sure you store this in a very safe and secure place. Um, and then I separated the ones that stay in my bag at all times. But that is how I just stuff my cash envelopes every single pay period. Nice and easy, simple way of just, you know, using cash, utilizing cash um, to save for future expenses and just expenses that you incur every single day. If you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and comment them down below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.